Actually, I have a jackaroo hood I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? Sir? Hello? Back at it again, boys and girls. And can I just tell you guys, I have been so excited to get back into this game. It's been a minute because my life just really, really be trying to stress me out, okay? Okay? Um, anyways, but yes, we are back and I am ready to just take on the world today. So let's go ahead and run back over here, see what's going on with Mima. And it looks like we have a visitor too. And it said that at the end of the last episode, it said we had a visitor. Okay, so let's go see if Mima need anything first. Ah, good morning, Bubbles. Did you happen to see that John has set up the tent at the visitor site? I told him all about you and how you've helped us get started here. He sounded impressed, girl. All right. <laughs> John trades all sorts of things back to South City. I reckon nearly anything you can find on the island will be valuable to him. He'll buy fruit, fish, bugs, and even rocks. John also sells a lot of useful tools. He's got mining equipment, logging tools, and even some fishing equipment. Although probably can't sell you a lot of tools until you have your license in order. Okay, licenses. You know about licenses, right? No, girl, I don't. Licenses are an old South City idea. I tell you what, you didn't need a license for anything back when I was growing up. But these days you'll need a license for everything. Luckily, I'm actually an accredited license giver. Of course you are, me, ma. <laughs> of course you are. If you want to apply for a license, come and talk to me. You'll have to spend some permit points to get them, but if you keep doing milestones, you'll make enough in no time. As you get better at doing certain tasks, new license uh, levels will open up. Now let's see if there's a license you can apply for right now. Ah, so that's what these permit points are for. for. Okay, ooh, mining license. We're going to need to get that. 250 permit points. Logging license allows the holder to buy axes and chop down trees. Fishing license allows holder to buy fishing rods. Excavation. Ooh, pur purchase shovels. Hunting. Okay. Farming. And then ve <gasps> vehicle. Allows the holder to purchase and pilot water vehicles. Ooh, uh, let's go fishing. Okay, so we've got a fishing license and we have 155 points. So technically we can't buy anything else, but that is actually really cool. I do like that. Okay, so let's also check our, um, our log and see, okay, the daily milestones is chat with three res, chat with three residents. We don't even have three residents. Okay, sell three bugs, sell six shells. So we're gonna be able to complete all of that today. Okay, we are good to go. All right, Bobby Ma girl, we'll be back. Um, let's go talk to the newcomer. Hello, little kangaroo. In we go. <gasps> the infamous John. What's going on, player? Aha, so you must be Bubbles. Fletch told me that you're the one that's uh, the one to thank for getting all this place set up. Thanks for that. I have been feeling... What? I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of business together. Take a look at my wares and feel free to ask me about anything you are interested in. Now, I make most of my dinks selling exotic items back to South City. I guess you could say exotic. Not you, too. I guess the... <laughs> I guess you could say exotic means any of the items here, uh, found here on the Sandy Strand. So if you find anything, and I do mean anything, you don't want, please drop by and show it to me. I'll offer you a great price for it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, John. Stop it. Okay, so John has a couple of things back here. Let's see. We've got a show. This shit is expensive. John. 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 Why are you doing this, John? Why are you doing this? 900 dinks for a shovel. The fishing rod is 1,260 dinks. My good man. All right, let's get to selling some things. Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? I want to sell some shit, bro. All right, show us what you got. Mm, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to sell everything individually because I want to know what everything costs. So starting with the Blue Moon Butterfly, let's sell. Let's see. Ah! 
the Blue Moon Butterfly is 290 dinks. That's actually really, really good. So it may not be too hard to make money, but also I'm going to be keeping a log, which is why I want to sell everything individually because I'm going to create an Excel doc that I can share with everyone and you guys can use it to keep track of you know, how much things cost and what you should be collecting more of to make, to make money. Okay, so let's go ahead and say sounds good. Very good. I'll take these items and here's your 290 dinks. Thanks for visiting John's Goods. Sweet. I think that's everything. I want to chat. Oh, what did you want to chat about? Uh, got a job for me? Ah, actually, I have a jackaroo hood I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? Sir? Hello? I could let it go for 18,000 dinks? Are you shitting me? Have you lost your mind, John? Absolutely not. What's the pr- John, I don't like John, y'all. He a scam artist. Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Oh, shit, I keep forgetting. I need to buy a, a <laughs> fishing rod. Oh, that's a fishing rod. A rod used for fishing and the like. That will be 1,260 dinks. I'll take it, even though I think it's overpriced, John. Okay, very good. Um, there you are. Thanks for the purchase. Appreciate it. Oh, oh, now we now we really got got things going. Okay, now we really got got it going. All right. So I wonder if you. I don't. It doesn't say how to fish. Let's just see. Okay, we're right on a fish. We're right on a fish. Uh oh. I think I did it wrong. Let me see. Oh. This is kind of, oh, this is interesting. This is like real fishing. I think I have to let him pick at it. Ah, oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Let him run, let him run. Oh, you, you're going all the way out there. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay, I learned from the live stream that you reel them in, but like when they start to fight you, you let them go. This is really just like fishing. Yeah, so if you try to pull them in while they're fighting, then it hurts your rod. I think the line will break. So just reel them in once they stop fighting. Now nah, we got you now. It's our fish now. Oh, look at that. We caught a jungle perch. Very nice. Okay. It's gators in that water. By the way, I don't know if it's gators or crocodiles. I think my husband told me it was something. I think I was calling it alligators last time. I don't know. Anyways, let's catch us some more fish. Time is actually flying. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon now at this point. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, fishing and fishing is so much better than Animal Crossing. Oh, my gosh. I hate fishing in Animal Crossing, to be honest. I don't know why, but always at the last minute I got nervous and then I end up breaking, like yanking my uh, line out of the water too soon and then the, the fish disappears, of course. Ah, <gasps> oh, come on. Not that gator making his way in. Or oh, I think it's a croc, mate. I think it's a crocodile. We're gonna get this one. Oh, oh, oh. Bring that ass here, boy. The hell do you think you're going? Don't fight it. Don't fight it. We're going to be best friends. So there's definitely different fish down here. I can see some different looking fish. Oh, I actually really enjoy this. This is actually super relaxing. I do love. What do we get? Oh, this one's really cute, actually. It caught a buck, back, back room. Baru. What? I can't, huh? Can I read? I caught a Barku. A Barku grunter. Okay. Yeah, I'm still every day blown away by the fact that uh, this game is still literally only met by, met, uh, that this game was made by one person. That's just crazy to me. Okay, so the other thing I need to do to complete the daily milestones was to talk to three islanders, but we don't, there's nobody else to talk to. I almost forgot. John is selling table saw. Selling a table saw. That's a tool that will be very handy. I think we should try to make enough money to buy the table saw from John. Here's half of the dinks. The rest is up to you. Okay, Mima. Not you giving us some money, girl. We're... 
Hold on, Mima. Where you get 2,500 dinks from? I ain't seen you sell a thing. Y'all, I don't, I don't know about Mima. She got something going on out here on the island, okay? Ooh, look, Rupu. I'll take that. <gasps> Butterfly. Um, skip. Hello? Got him. Blue moon butterfly. Okay. Ooh. Don't forget to harvest y'all yellow uh, wattle flowers now. Ooh, firefly. Uh-oh. I used to love catching fireflies when I was a kid. I used to catch them and then, I mean, you let them go afterwards. But I don't know. They were kind of fascinating creatures, I feel like, when we were kids. <laughs> oh, there's lots of rupu out here tonight. I'll take that. Harvest me bush limes. We do love a cooked bush lime, ladies. Alright, run over here and get some more of these gum logs. Oh, it's a crocodile! Got to get the hell out of here, boys. Stay away from the crocs. Yeah, we still have a ton of energy left, so let's just continue collecting. Let me know if you guys would like to see the collecting. I think I'm going to cut some of it out in this video just so I don't bore you with the collecting. But if you actually enjoy the collecting, then I'll be happy to leave it in the video. Just let me know what you would prefer. Ah, look at this. Shall we do some fishing in this here pond? Ooh, I bet it's different from what you can catch in the pond to what you can catch in the ocean. Ooh! We got a big boy on the line. Oh, he broke my rod almost instantly. He got some energy. It's a live one. <gasps> How dare you? I'll tell you what, though. When I can kill a croc, I'm going to have me some croc soup. Oh, he's looking this way, people. You got to click real fast with the big ones. Yeah, we're going to get him this time. We're going to get him this time. I have figured it out. Oh, we got a bony tongue. Okay, a bony. That's a that's a big fish right there. Okay. All right, let's check our um, milestones. Oh yeah, we have lots. Okay, so shell. Yeah, shells are nature's way of littering. Here's a milestone for picking up those bad boys. Nice. Very cool. I do really like the uh, pedia. So let's go and sell. We should do that. Let's run on over and see exactly how much all of this stuff we got is worth, especially the fish. I am very curious to know how much this these fish cost. Okay, so hi, John. Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? We need to sell some shit. All right, what you got? All righty. So let's check how much the river bass is first. Let's see. <sighs> Oh yeah, fishing's the way to go. So if the river bass was that much, I wonder how much the bony tongue is worth. Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. Let's sell the jungle perch and the, the bar crew gunter. Anything else? So. 10,000 dinks. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. I'll take these items. Here's your 10,000 dinks. Thank you for visiting John's Goods. Very, very nice. Okay, so I think now we can probably buy this table saw. 5,200 dinks. Damn. Oh, that's a table saw. Can cut wood into planks. That'll be 5,200 dinks. I'll take it. We are rolling in the dough. I could buy literally everything in here except for the grill. There you are. Thanks for your purchase. Why did why the grill so expensive? Why the grill so expensive? Tell me. I must know. Buy a bug net. Damn. Bug net is expensive as hell. All right. So now that we've done that and it's time has already flown by, let's go ahead and buy another license from Mima. Okay. So you bought the table saw. Well done, Bubbles. Don't you think having John here is great? If only I could convince John to move here permanently. Hmm. Well, let's worry about getting the materials needed for a permanent building first. The table saw is a great first step. For now, you can have a break. Come back and talk to me when you're ready. Got another job for you, Bubbles. Are you up for it? I want to apply for a license. Let's have a look then. Um, I would like a logging license. Yes. Very nice. Okay, so we got a logging license, but we have more to do we need the pickaxe yes so we got to get the mining license 
and we can get one more I think we should do ooh landscaping oh these are new I think landscaping building I think we need this to craft basic weapons so I'm gonna go ahead and get that as well okay so we've ooh new crafting weapon wooden bat there are great whites and crocodiles out here what the hell is a bat gonna do oh there we go basic spear I need that yep 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 oh basic hammer hammer for hitting things slowly okay very good now let's go over here and see what we need in order to build some of this stuff so I definitely want a spear we need a gumwood plank and a tin bar. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, we do not have what we need to do that. A wooden bat, though. Spin fex risen. So I am going to go back over and let's just talk to Fletch one more time. Um, I've got another job for you, Bubbles. You up for it? I'm ready. I'll tell you what. I think camping is fun. Okay, Mima. But if we're going to convince people to stay here on this, the sandy strand, we've got to start building more permanent structures. I've noticed that there's a lot of tin ore on this island. I've seen it popping out of rocks all over the place. I know a way we can melt down tin ore into stuff great for building. Now, I need you to bring me some items. We need one campfire, three stone, tin ore. Keep in mind, you will need a mining license to buy a pickaxe to collect ore and rocks. Once you've gathered everything we need, come see me. Okay, we're about to get a furnace. I knows it. Oh my god, we are on. Look, we are on our way, people. We're on our way. Okay. Um, mm, oh, 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 what is that? Oh, that is disgusting. A peacock spider. That actually sounds horrific. It sounds absolutely terrible. I don't think I would ever touch a spider with my bare hands. That's just me. Ooh, look at us. Under the water. There's something over here. Oh, look at that. I bet that's worth some dough. We got a white yabby. A white yabby. The fish is running away. Hey. Oh, swimming does take up a good amount of stamina. Okay. So let's go back over here, sell this white yabby we just caught, and also buy our pickaxe, because we need that to break open these rocks now. Okay, John. Welcome to John's good house. house. Can I help? What? All right, show us what you got. <laughs> uh, is it scared? I don't know. Is it? White yabby. 980. I guess that's not bad, but that's the same price as a black cricket. Mmm seems a little off but okay sounds good i bet that spider's worth some good good money okay show us what you got so we're gonna do the peacock spider so let's see yeah i knew it i don't want that spider in my damn bag anyway all right so we need a pickaxe smash rocks and oars i'll take it we need a basic axe as well to chop down trees and plants. I'll take it. John, we got money for days, my brother. Money for days, my boy. I'll take all this shit. Everything you got in here, I want it. Oh, that's a shovel. Unfortunately, I can't sell. Excavation? Oh, John, I'll be back. We are, we are doing the things. Okay, let's see what this is like. That's a sound. Ooh. Okay, so we've got three tin ore. Can you break down this rock any further? Oh, you can. Oh, once you break it down, it's only one stone, though. Hmm, I wish you could get more stone for that, but that's just me. That's just me. Can we cut? Ooh. <gasps> what happens if we chop this down? Prickly pear flesh. Oh my God, y'all. I used to work at a restaurant a couple years back and we used to have this prickly pear margarita. It was so, so good. I bartended for a very short period of time before I realized that was not <laughs> for me at all. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was too much. So I, uh, I went back to serving, but um, I used to have to make it from scratch, make the juice from scratch, but I did enjoy that. That was kind of fun. Oh, we are about to pass out. It's getting gray out here, boys. Gray. Okay, so let's let's eat some of our cooked cactus fig. 
Okay, from live streams, I know that the cooked, uh, that not the cooked, the little circle that's next to the stamina bar is actually um, showing how full you are. So until it opens back up, you can't really eat any, uh, do anything else. Like eat anything else, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so we can choose to do one or two things. We can put this table saw down by our house or we can put it like in town. Uh, maybe we put it here. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to be right here, but... <laughs> oh, a grass seed. What do I do with this? <gasps> I planted some grass! Let's see. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Oh, I love it. Yep, I, I love it. I love it. Look at that! Very cool. Actually, this seems to be like the perfect spot because instead of going on the ground, it's going on like the little ledge behind it. So I think one gum log gives us one um, of the um, wooden planks that we need. Well, good news is, is that three of those uh, cactus fruits actually almost put our stamina all the way back where it needs to be. So I'm really happy about that. It looks like we need another stone. I'll take this one. And we need some more tin ore. Oh, these were like two stones stacked on top of each other. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Ooh, what's this? Can I hit this with my axe? I can't! What's inside? Okay, we've got some old springs. And bright wire. Hmm. Can I cut this down? Oh, you can. You can cut the bushes down. What's that? A wattle seed. We can plant our own wattle flowers. Give me more wattle seeds. I'm gonna have to hang on to those wattle those wattle seeds because boy, let me tell you something. Wattle flowers are worth a good amount of money, my friends. Uh-oh, we're getting tired again. <gasps> Ooh, shiny stone, what's that? This rock is shiny, there might be something in it. Huh? How do we break it open? <gasps> no, I need my cooked cactus fig. We'll have to figure that out here in a second, but let's go in and craft a campfire. Just one. We've done it, boys. <laughs> okay, so we've got our campfire. Now we need to bring the requested items to Fletch. Let's talk. Good day. Oh, good day. How's it going, mate? Um, need anything? Uh, actually, I have Daisy shorts I don't want anymore. Do you want to buy it? Don't do this, John. Don't do this. You said they're daisy shorts? Oof! I want to buy them. I do. Mm, 8,000 dinks, though. It's a deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Huh? There ain't no daisies on these shorts. Man, John is a freaking scam artist. And thanks for shelling, ripping me off with these freaking raggedy ass shorts you just sold me. What a boy, John. I got some names for you. I could call you some names. Hey, Mima, I just got scammed. Well done, Bubbles. I knew I could count on you to find everything we need. Here's a recipe for a crude furnace. Now, why don't you go to the crafting table? I made that entire sentence up. Now, why don't you try crafting the crude furnace at the crafting table in the base tent? Once you've crafted the crude furnace, pop it up on the ground outside somewhere. Then just place the ore inside of it. It will take a little while to do its thing, so feel free to do some other activities while it's melting. Bring me the tin bar when you're ready, okay? Yay! We've got a crude furnace! Maybe what we should do is craft like multiple of these items and like put maybe a furnace one at my house and then a one in the town area. All right, so we've got stone, campfire, and then tin ore craft. Yeah, okay, very nice. Place the crude furnace down outside. Okay, okay. Let's go into our inventory, pull our furnace down. I don't know, does it make sense right here? Seems like it might be a bit much. Uh, I don't know how to decorate. Um, uh, we'll just put it down for right here because we can pick it up, right? Yeah, I mean, that's a beautiful thing. We can kind of move this thing around if we want to. <gasps> okay. Ooh. 
Now we're cooking with hot grease, boys. Can we only do one at a time? Hey, John, stay away from my shit now, okay? Don't come over here trying to um, steal nothing. Good old John. We love him, but we hate him at the same time. Okay, place a tin ore into the furnace and wait for it to become a bar and then take the bar to Fletch. Okay, cool. So let's run back over here really quickly and get, ooh, our bar. Yes, sir. Well done, Bubbles. You have proven yourself invaluable once again. You're really starting to carry a lot of stuff around. I'll tell you what, I'll teach you how to craft a wooden crate. You're going to need a recipe for nails too. I'll tell you what, the Sandy Strand is well on its way to becoming a great settlement again. With a furnace and a table saw, we can start thinking about building more permanent structures. I'll tell you what, we should try to get John to set up a real shop here. Let's do it. That's the spirit bubbles. I reckon if we spend a bit of money at his tent, he'll see it's worth as well. Oh, and we should show him how friendly the people are around here. Why don't you ask John if he has anything that he needs done? If we can prove to him that the Sandy Strand is... Mima, there's nothing funny about this. All right. If we can prove to him that the Sandy Strand is a great place to move, I'll, I'm sure he'll ask to live here for good. Okay, so we've got nails and a wooden crate. Oh, yes. I am a crate god. I love crates. I love storing things. I like keeping my boxes nice and organized with stuff. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, so we need palm wood plank, gum wood plank, and nails. How do we craft nails? Okay, so you get eight from one tin bar. I'm going to go ahead and craft some. Why not? We had the tin bar, right? Okay, and let's also craft another furnace. So we need another camp bar and tin ore. Camp bar? Uh, hello? A camp fire. Okay, so I'm going to craft the campfire. And then let's go out and collect some more tin really quickly. Ooh. Another tin bar. I'll take it. Uh-oh. That's a big-ass spider. Oh, no. Oh no, it's gonna bite us. A funnel web spider. Oh my God, that looks terrible. My pockets are full. Yes, we have to swap something. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swap it for a stone just simply because we can find more stone anytime. All right, let's run on back to the house. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lay down. Call it a day, sleep until tomorrow. Yay! Fishing is level three, bug catching is still level one, mining is level two, foraging is level three, and we have earned 25,000 dinks today. Your girl is fucking rolling in the dough, killing it. Well, it's been super eventful. We're making a ton of money, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I am going to be putting up episode three really soon, so if you guys are enjoying, I would just say please consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing. I would love to kind of continue to explore the island with you guys, continue to build up because I don't know about y'all, but I'm having a really good time. So stay tuned for episode three. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.